Good morning, dreamers. We got something in our inbox, and we all know what it is. It's the results for Christmas challenge, and I'm super excited. So you must be thinking, oh, I remember oh, you did the live stream before Christmas. You did the dream snap, but you haven't finished it. And then you didn't do a stream after that. So you probably just submitted uh, w whatever Greetings, you did during the live stream. That half-baked, stupid-looking dream snap. This one, right? That, that, that's, that's probably what you're thinking. Well, wrong. <laughs> I did come back late on Tuesday. And uh, basically, here's what happened. So I was completely unsatisfied with my results, so I decided to start over from scratch and make a new submission. Uh, I decided to go to the right half of my Frosted Heights, uh, put the castle in the background because that one I was pretty confident in. But instead of doing the city, I decided to just make a scene, something that probably does not look supernatural, but does look good on a photo and looks very action and there was a few items that I wanted to use for sure. It was the train, it was uh, the little ice skating pond, a bunch of Christmas trees, and I wanted to use one Santa this time because there's no way I could get, I would have enough time to even get two Santas to sit down at the same time. And I, I had an idea to use Olaf. So Olaf and uh, Jack were two characters that I planned to use in my dream snap. I started arranging items a little bit. It looked pretty good. Uh, I definitely wanted to have a bear on the foreground because I've seen a few dream snaps how it looked. It looked tremendous. It took me about maybe an hour, hour and a half to design the set and fully make everything uh, uh, the way I want it. Uh, I used a lot of items that I haven't used in original dream snap and I think it turned out better for it. Now, in the hindsight, knowing my results, I I, I kind of I kind of see why. Uh, you will see it in a minute too. So I basically just, uh, after I arranged everything, I started playing with the lights and I think I made a poor choice with lighting and filters. And I think that was exactly the reason why my results weren't as good as they could have been. I think that these filters just, pe people don't like filters, honestly. If you can see here, I decided to go for a night shot. So I have the shine from the tree and from the uh from the castle but i i think the, the choosing to use that filter in the end probably didn't do me any favors i should have kept it without the filter now that i see it side by side i truly understand that this filter completely ruined my picture even though initially i thought it makes it look more interesting but just seeing the like the, the the image without the filter with the image with the filter right now side by side for some reason, it's just it's just day and night. So Olaf and uh, Jack weren't really cooperating that much, so I decided to just hang out with Olaf and uh, put him near the snowman to make him a little snowman family and uh, just wait for Jack to sit down on the throne because it was getting super late and I was just I just wanted to be done with it. So in the end, this is the submission that that I end up with. Honestly, just looking at the final shot now, I feel like I should have gone with the original one. It just had so much brighter colors. Even though I like the composition more in this one, I wish I didn't use the stupid filter. Lesson learned. All right. So I'm kind of pretty happy with the way it turned out. I, I think my new updated Dream Snap looks much better. And I am... I'm, I honestly believe I'm going to get 4,000 Moonstones. And my rank would be about maybe 2,000 to 3,000. That's my guess. Way more confident in this one than my underwater submission. I think it turned out really well. Let's get the results. Oh, I'm going to get burned. I'm going to get wrecked once again. 2,500. All right then, all right then. It's still, it's an improvement. And I'm so close, so close. I was so close to 4,000 because Why? about like top 6,000 something people. So if I was like 500 places higher, I would get 4,000. Oh man, so close. What is going on? 
I mean, to be fair, the competition was fierce. But I was I was pretty confident in my submission. I, it's still it's still an amazing result, and still definitely a huge improvement over 900 that I got last time. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't wait to see your guys' results. All right. Well, I doubt I would get 2500 if I went with original submission anyway. So uh, maybe I would. Maybe I actually would get 4000. I don't know. Which one do you think is better? Uh, my original one. Or the one I ended up getting. I honestly don't know. Let's go see what the, the shop has to offer. Pizza Planet. I think it's an old thing, right? I, I mean, I'll buy it anyway. I, this is, I literally just got it for free. From my, uh, you know, from my moonstones that I just got. Pizza Planet and Art Deco Princess bed. Also, I know a lot of people want to get Mike and Saldi's apartment, so congratulations, guys. It's back. And I'm I'm loving seeing our deco pieces coming back because I hope that the next week we're gonna get the plant. You know how much I want to get the juicy, juicy plant. Uh, let me place these items down just in case you want to see how they look. Holy, that's a big boy. That's a very big boy. That... That... For 2500 this is a giant piece of furniture. Look at that. That looks so cool. It, ha it has a nice little... Cupcake station. Miss Cupcake definitely should get this one. It does seem like it goes over whatever scenery you have, so it blends perfectly whenever you play it. Alien Pizza Planet. That is so... Look how cool this... I wish you could sit on this bench. But it's at an angle. Wow. Okay, this item is sick. And on the back is pretty boring. So this is just the furniture, obviously, it's not a house skin, but it looks tremendous. I think it's worth 2500 And this bed is... It's a bed! Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I want to collect every single item, so I got it anyway. Alright, guys. This is all we got. Thank you so much for watching, and... Cannot wait to see the results. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of... I, I'm curious to see uh, which submission did well. Like, uh, I, I've i seen so many cool ones. And uh, I, I hope you guys didn't get super robbed. And you actually got 4,000 Moonstones to afford these two new items. I mean, they're not new. But I would assume that most people did not have them yet. I feel like, I don't even know, was Pizza Planet in Premium Shop before, or is it a new edition? Because I feel like I saw it, but why didn't I buy it before? That's the question. Was it, like, one of the first editions? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, my uh, amusement park submission, I th hope, is going to bring me back to 4,000. But honestly, I was pretty much as confident in my Christmas submission as I am in my... Amusement park submission. So it it seems like the competition is going up. It's 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 starting to get more difficult to get four thousand, but hopefully I can figure it out and get back. Oh wait, I forgot to check. What's the current theme? Just just for fun. Uh, what are we doing this week? Out of the toy box. To dream snaps and beyond. Decorative valley with decorations inspired by Toy Story. Okay, okay. I have a lot of Toy Story items. I'm making an arcade. No, actually, everybody's gonna make an arcade. I definitely want to make something more unique. Anyway, we'll find out tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.